guys welcome back to my channel how you guys doing today's video we're gonna be talking about beauty blender versus beauty sponges beauty blender versus beauty sponges so you guys know how the how much the beauty blender cost is twenty dollars for the beauty the original beauty blender is twenty dollars if you buy the beauty sponge you can find one three dollars and upward sometimes 2.99 and upward if you go to tj maxx or if you go to target or even marshall's any one of those stores and i think i see them also at home goods don't quote me on that but if you go to any one of those store ross i've seen them at ross you can find them for 2.99 and up now this is not, not the beauty blender these are the beauty sponge so I said to myself there has to be another way for me to invest in this sponge and still able to change them as frequently as they need to be changed because if you guys already know these sponges do not last as long as we would want them to last they start getting frizzy and start shivering and start losing the shape so we have to find another way or a cheaper way to purchase these products frequently. So I went out on the search, as I always do, yes. So what I did, guys, was I went to Marshalls and I went to TJ Maxx, and I looked for some other sponges, and I did a little research, not too much, also to find something that was comparable to the beauty blender or very close and i did find something you guys are gonna be shocked about this so anyway let's talk about the sponges all right the sponge first one that i have is from sona and this is a packaging there you go from sona and i got this one from target this one I have tried to use it with my foundation and it did not work. Even when you wet it, it did not work. So if you can see, I have this one that I've been using and it has products on it. This beauty from Sona, beauty blender or beauty blender pro, um, dupe, it calls it beauty blender dupe, or the beauty sponge works better with applying your translucent powder. Even if you're setting your whole face, it works much better with it. So maybe not all of them you can use for foundation purposes, but you can use this with your translucent powder. And that's when you're setting under your eyes. And if you can see, you can set under your eyes pretty well with it, or you can set your entire face, all right? Again, and this one I got from Target and it's from Sona. All right, another one that I found at Marshall is the Retinol, and this is a package, the package. And this one, I purchased this one for $3.99. I do not remember how much the cost of the Sona, but this one, which is a Retinol, is $3.99, and I got this from Marshall. Now, this is what it looks like. I have not used it yet. It feels pretty close to the Beauty Blender, but not as close as the Beauty Blender is. It's a little resistant on the sponge, and this is how you know if it really works. If, it, if you press on it and it push back really quickly, that means your foundation is not gonna apply as good as it would with the Beauty Blender, all right? So again, it says this infused blending, not sure what that means, infuse blending. You know, that's just a marketing technique or skill or whatever they say. It stimulates, it says it produces and it helps to fight fine lines and wrinkles. So I guess it maybe works well to use with your translucent powder too, I guess. Anyway, there's another one that I picked up and this is one from Urban Studio. It's a latex-free, allergen-free blending sponge. And that's what the packaging look like. Okay, that's what the packaging look like. And again, I got this from Marshall and I paid $3.99. So again, you can get these things from Marshall or TJ Maxx. This one is the cost of $3.99. And it's much better to me 
than the retinal on the resistance when you press them together. So I think this one will work very well applying your foundation. This will work very well applying your foundation. And again, this is the Urban Studio brand. Urban Studio brand is a better bland, brand to apply your foundation. Other two you could use for your translucent powder. All right, so guys, are you ready? Are you guys ready, 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 ready? And guys, there's many, many more sponges, beauty sponges out there that are comparable to the beauty blender, but nothing is like the beauty blender. Just get that. There's nothing like the beauty blender. That's in a category by itself. But there's one that is so close, like if the beauty blender is right here, it is like right there, that I've tried and many people have the same review about it. And this is the Real Technique Two is called the Real Technique Beauty um, Sponge. Real Technique Beauty Sponge. How could I mess the name up? This is what the packaging look like. And it's, it said this is three in one, flat edge, contour, around nose and eyes. And then you have an area for you to blend large areas on your face. And it covers up all imperfection, as it says. All this, all the marketing gibbished. All right. And again, this is very close to the Beauty Blender. When I said very close, I mean very close. I just use it to do this look that I have on or that I'm wearing. And I thought I was using the Beauty Blender. And I've owned around one, two, three, around four Beauty Blender. $20 a piece and after a while they start of course losing every part of it of course it start frailing and frilling and shedding but real techniques now I order this on Amazon it says you can use it damp or dry but you guys know that I stress 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 even when you're using your translucent powder you can damp it it applies it the best so use it wet. All right, so I ordered this on Amazon and it's $7 for two on Amazon. $7, you can't beat that. $7 for two, $7. You can use $20, buy two, and you guys, you can calculate. You're gonna have you some change, right? Yes, so I think if you're looking for a sponge that works nearly as the beauty blender as I was, real technique. Order them off Amazon. I don't know if a store that sells them. I didn't see one, so that's why I ordered. Maybe you could check Marshalls, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But again, guys, in no shape and form, I'm telling you not to buy the beauty blender. If you just wanna go ahead and just, if you have the money and the coins like that, then that's fine. But your sister coins are not as frequent as they're going to be in future, future, future. So because of that, real techniques are gonna be working for right now. And I will use the rest of those for different purposes, but for my foundation application, or yes, yes, yes. All right, so that's all I have, guys. Beauty Blender, category by itself, versus the other beauty sponges. And the number one runner on the beauty sponge is the Real Technique Beauty Sponge. All right? So guys, go out and get you guys some beauty sponges. Yes, get you some beauty sponges. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this video. Leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on my very next video. Bye-bye.